Hello viewers, today our topic is migration in fish. But before going to our main topic, I'd like to mention that this online teaching is a part of the initiation of Geological Society of Assam. So let's start. Fish migration has been known since very early times, but its knowledge was restricted. Migration in fish is a mysterious event of nature which has not been yet solved completely. The presentation will mainly focus on the types of migratory fish, causes of migration, then migration of salmon fish and theories of migration. Generally, fishes live in a constant habitat but there are many others which migrate from fresh water to sea or vice versa and travel long distance. This phenomenon is characterized by regular periodic movements like homing. According to Cohen, in 1970, about 8,000 freshwater species, 12,000 marine and 120 diadroma species show regular migration. Approximately 70% of total migrants are found in tropical waters. Nearly all fish move in shoals, generally with no leader. Shoals have a definite shape which is hydronomically suited for movement. Let us start what is a homing. Homing is a complex, instinctively and physiologically dictated behavior of migratory fish which compels the fish to return to its original locality after undertaking migratory journeys. This instinct is seen most prominently in the salmon. Fish inhabiting smaller water bodies such as lakes, ponds and pools also have this remarkable instinct and if displaced they can return to their home territories. Jarking in 1959 has defined homing as the return to a place formerly occupied instead of going to other equally probable new places. Types of migratory fish. According to Myers in 1949, migratory fish can be classified into three main categories. Number one, diadromas, then number two, potamodromas, and number three, oceanodromas fish. Let us discuss one by one. Number one, diadromas fish. These fish migrate between fresh water and sea water. These can further be subdivided into three types. Anadromas, Catadromas and Amphidromas fish. Anadromas fish. These fish migrate from sea to fresh waters for breeding. For breeding purpose and for example salmon, striped bass, shad, lampreys and hilsa. Catadromas fish. These fish migrate from fresh water to the sea, chiefly for spawning. For example, European eel and American eel. Amphidromas fish. These fish migrate from sea water to fresh water and vice versa, but not for breeding. This may be for food, etc. This movement may occur regularly at some definite stage of their life cycle. For example, gobbies undertake migration for food. Semi-migratory. Some fish, however, do not show any significant movement from oceans to fresh water. These may move only up to estuaries. In such cases, migratory changes are not 
too marked. These are called semi-migratory fish. For example, roaches and white fishes, etc. Potamodromous fish. These fish live and migrate only within fresh waters. For example, carps and trouts. Carps and trouts travel along long distance in large rivers in search of suitable spawning grounds. Ocenodromous fish. These fish which live and migrate only within the sea are called Ocenodromous fish. For example, Atlantic herring, sardines and tuna. These fish generally migrate to colder water regions for the purpose of spawning and then return to their parent area. Methods of migratory movements. Migratory movements are of two types along with the water currents called denatant or against the water current called contranatant. Some species may partly resort to both the means. Again, movement in fish can be caused by one is drift when the fish are carried passively by the water currents. This type of movement is most commonly employed by larvae and rarely by adults. And next one, swimming. This is of the following two types. Random locomotory movement. This movement may lead to a haphazard or random divergence of the species or it may lead to aggregation of the species, especially if there are differences in environmental fields such as light, temperature, etc. Oriented locomotory movement, when movement is caused by a particular stimulus. Causes of migration. Some scientists regard migration in freshwater species to arise basically as a result of insufficient food supply in rivers, whereas in marine species, it is due to more favorable conditions and better protection for developing eggs in rivers than in the open sea. According to Hip, in 1961, fish mainly migrate for three primary reasons. Number one, gametic migration. This type of migration is undertaken by a fish to ensure better survival and proper development of their eggs and larvae, for example, Hilsa elisa. Elemental migration or feeding migration. This type of migration occurs for the purpose of search for food. For example, canoes, harpodon, etc. Then climatic migration. This type of migration secure more suitable climatic conditions. For example, sturgeons, Atlantic salmons, etc. Gametic migration or breeding migration. Gametic migration is undertaken by a fish to ensure better survival and proper development of their eggs and larvae. Anadromous migration is more commonly noted in fish, while catadromous migration is relatively uncommon as seen in eels. So, migration in salmon fish. Migration in salmon is the most classical example of anadromous migration. They spend their adult lives at sea but return to fresh water to spawn. Salmons may travel anywhere between 700 km to 4000 km during such migrations. Pacific salmon die soon after spawning. Thus, they spawn once in their lifetime but their young ones inherently know their way back to the sea. Salmon undergo many changes before undertaking migration. Due to suggestion in feeding, 
changes in the size of the intest intestinal tract and intestinal enzymes are brought about some biochemical changes have also been noted in the flesh of the fish along with changes in osmoregulation morphological changes result in peculiar sexual characters such as a drawn out of snout and lower jaw development of a hook on the lower jaw and enlargement of front teeth of the upper jaw in the male chinook salmon migration of hill safis amongst indian fish hilsa ilisa which is found in the bay of bengal provides an implicit example of anadromous migration during breeding season for spawning it ascends the ganga river and as and is seen as far off as allahabad migration in european eel the two species of atlantic eels that is european eel and american eel do not differ markedly from each other it was found that these fish spawn near the sargosa sea in the atlantic ocean south east of bermuda the european eels are found towards the eastern region of the mouth of the rivers till they are strong enough to swim up the rivers they now measure about 15 to 20 cm and are as thick as a pencil the male fish prefer brackish water and therefore stay in the estuarine region whereas female prefer fresh water and are seen to ascend up river migration in american eel like the european eel the american eel is also catadromous and spawns near the sargosa sea it is similar to the european eel in many biological aspects as well the larvae called leptocephali drift to the american coast by water currents in about 2 years they reach coastal waters to change into elvers or mini eels before ascending the rivers on reaching parental habitat they feed and grow till sexual maturity is attained the larvae of american eels therefore grow and metamorphose at an earlier stage and smaller size in comparison to their european counterparts let us discuss migration in other eels also freshwater eels are mainly restricted to countries where the oceanic currents circulate from the spawning areas of the eels they are altogether absent from countries on the western part of us south america and canada they are found only on the northern coast of african continent Japanese eel another important species is found in coastal waters of Japan and China they migrate for spawning to north pacific australian eels inhabit coastal waters of australia tasmania and new zealand these fish spawn in south pacific waters we have already discussed the gametic migration let us start the elemental or feeding migration feeding migration are brought about mainly due to shortage of suitable food supply in the wintering or spawning grounds besides enjoying better food facilities the individuals have a better chance of survival due to faster growth rate which helps juveniles to escape predation better fed individuals may grow to large size and also mature earlier and be able to produce more eggs which is for better betterment and survival of the species commercially important marine fish which show this kind of migration are the salmon cod herring tuna and important freshwater species are grass carp chinese roast gudgeon etc next one climatic or wintering migration 
Wintering migrations are limited in fish due to inactive physical conditions and low basic metabolic rate either after feeding or before spawning. This depends both on the condition of the fish and environmental changes. These fish therefore need to move to areas with more favorable abiotic conditions which provide better protection. Wintering migration is commonly seen in migratory fish, for example, sturgeons, Atlantic salmon, and in some semi-migratory fish like roaches and perches. Among freshwater species, grass carp is known to move to the wintering grounds. Then next one, osmoregulatory or protective migration. Some mass movements may arise due to sudden un unfavorable biological or environmental conditions like a stormy weather. These migrations are not cyclical. There are many theories or hypotheses regarding fish migration. Some of these are number one, olfactory hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, a fish may recognize its surroundings and path of migration by detecting the specific odor from a stream or water body. This odor may depend on the bottom topography, for example, soils, plants, and springs at the bottom from which the water body acquires its organic quality. Then number two, internal biological clocks. Experimental evidences on salmons show that the fish is able to adjust its course or orientation through internal biological clocks. These adjust to seasons as well as to the time of the day according to appearance of light. Next theory is on sun compass mechanism. Scientists show that distribution in open water migrations in salmon may be directed by a sun compass mechanism. To swim in a single direction, the fish probably calculates appropriate horizontal angles to the sun during different times of the day. Then groundwater seepage hypothesis. According to Harden Jones in 1980, the assembly areas for spawning or otherwise are identified by marine fish with the help of chemicals that enter the sea by groundwater seepage. Pheromones. Pheromones play a very important role in the migrations. It play a role in identifying the spawning area. They may deter further spawning in a particular area after a sufficient number of eggs have already been laid. Celestial reference points. The use of celestial points in maintaining a steady course in midwaters are suggested to be useful, especially in nocturnal travel. Nocturnal direction may also be assisted by gravity, magnetic field, oceanic currents, etc. And these factors may be useful on moonless or starless nights. Then tidal transport. This mode of migration is performed by place of south bite of the North Sea. Accordingly to Dr. Arnold, this, this mode of migration saves energy and problems of direction are eliminated if the right tide is caught at the right time. And last one, gradient tube. This is based on the Salmon's presumed ability to follow gradients of physico-chemical characteristics of water, mainly temperature and carbon dioxide. It has been shown that Salmon swim in the direction of coolest waters and that high carbon dioxide tension repels migrating Salmons. Now, I want to add some significance of migration of fish. Migration in fish has considerable ecological significance. The sequence of migratory movement is closely integrated in the annual cycle of ecosystems characterized by fluctuation in productivity. Peaks of food production would be unexploited without the periodic presence of migratory populations. Migrating fishes are targeted by 
commercial and recreational fishing and impact the functioning of aquatic ecosystems. Many species of migrating fish are under increasing threat by exploitation, pollution, habitat destruction, dispersal barriers, overfishing and ongoing climate change. So that's all for the migration of fish. And these are the references from where I have prepared this presentation. Thank you. My email ID is aboiragi9 at the rate of gmail.com.